Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. Today I'm going to talk to you about a quick Valentine's Day uh, craft that I've been working on. I was debating on whether or not to tell you guys about this or not because you have to have a sense of humor for these. So if you do not, please pass it on to my other uh, Valentine's Day crafts that I've been working on. Um, but if you do have a sense of humor, stay tuned for this. I'm going to show you a little preview of what they look like and hopefully you guys will get a laugh out of it. So I made this one. I'm not going to say what it says. You guys can read it. And then I made this one, and they are on men's boxers. So I figured with Valentine's Day coming up, that would be great to give your husband or your boyfriend for Valentine's Day. Like I said, you have to have a sense of humor for this to keep going on. Um, but actually, I did the video, and I didn't publish it, and I put these in the two stores that I sell at. I sold out of them immediately. She emailed me that same day and said, can you please bring some more back? Can you bring some more back? We sold out. So I'm doing this video um, after I already sold some. I do talk in the video that I'm going to be selling them, but I want to tell you guys that I actually did sell out of these. They are crazy. So I have that one there. I'll show you this one really quick. And the fun of it just goes on and on. I will show you more to go, but if you guys have a sense of humor, stay tuned. If you don't, go ahead and pass on. I have a whole bunch of Valentine's Day crafts coming up. So uh, stay tuned for that and I'm excited to show you guys how to make these. So these ones here, uh, these files I bought from Etsy, um, you can purchase them anywhere on Etsy, on design bundles, wherever you want. You can also find them on Google and clean them up. So that is where I purchased these ones from. I'm actually going to move these guys over really quick and show you these two. So I actually made these two. I didn't find one that I really like, so I just kind of made it myself. I like this, uh, caution, choking hazard. Um, one here, kind of blushing, you guys can't see it, but I am kind of laughing inside. So the way you want to do this or find an image is you want to go to images on the left hand side here. And then you can just type in caution or whatever you're looking for. Like if you're looking for lips, you can see that was there too. Um, so I just put in caution and I'm just going to click the little magnifying glass and it will bring it up. So this is the one that I originally used. I got this from uh, Google. I just cleaned it up and put it in here. But if you go through here, you will find a couple different ones. Um, I'm going to use this one, actually. So if you see the little green A up here, that means I can use this for free. I pay for the yearly subscription to Design Space, so I'm going to get this one free. If you are not, you will probably have to pay for it. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you how much it is. And actually, I'm looking at this one. I think it's kind of funny. So I'm actually going to add that one as well. I'm going to go to Add to Canvas, and then I'll show you the rest of how I did it. Like I said, if you're interested in just purchasing this or these files, please go ahead and just do that. Otherwise, it is fun creating your own kind of files. So this was kind of funny. I thought this was kind of cute too. So I'm going to leave this one as well to the side just for now and kind of work with this one. So you can leave this the way it is and have, you know, the yellow and the black, or you can, you can just change it the way it is and just change it just to be the um, yellow with the clear background. What I mean is here is I'm going to hide this and there it is. You see, I'm just using the little eye button up here and it hides that. So you can do that if you want, or you can uh, just leave it the way it is. I'm just going to leave it the way it is actually. Um, I'll use the black and the yellow. So I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit and then go to the text box and then type in caution. And you can, again, type whatever you want, but I'm going to do caution. And um, I'm going to actually change the font on here. You can go in and, and pick whatever font you want that kind of sticks out to you. Um, again, with the Cricut Design Space, um, the subscription, you get all these fonts for free here. So it might be, if you don't have it, it might be something that you're interested in. I will leave a link down below in case you're not a part of it. Um, a disclaimer, I actually do get paid if you do purchase this um, subscription under me, I will get a small percent percentage. And I seriously do mean small. I know they, they sell, I think the yearly is $100. I may get $3 off of that, but you know what? That $3 will definitely help me. So if you do not have the yearly or the monthly subscription and you're interested in it, please use my link down below. I will leave it down there in case you are. So I'm just looking through these. I'm just going to pick this one really quick, kind of see what it looks like. They look different from when you look on it there to when it changes on here. So you always want to kind of 
be aware of how it's going to look. Well, I actually kind of like that one. So I have caution here, and then I'm going to put the choking hazard on. So I'm going to go back to my text, and it's going to put the same font that we just used. You're going to see it here. So here it is. And one thing I like to do is go up here to the alignment box and then just center it just in case it's not centered, which it was not. So I like it the way it looks, but I want a little bit less space here. So the way you want to do that is you want to go up to line space up here and then just push the down arrow. Or if you know roughly how much of a space you want, you can always go in here and put like a negative number. So I'll put, um, let's see, a negative 10 and kind of see what that looks like. Woo, no way too much. So maybe I'll just tone it down a little bit. Maybe go to negative eight and see what that looks like. Still too much. So you can just go up and, you know, uh, change it up here to however you want it. I just wanted a little bit closer to each other. Um, it looks kind of funny that far apart. So I am going to leave it there. So I have it at a negative 4.5. Um, so the last thing you're going to do is maybe change the color because if you pr uh, cut this out, the black part, it's going to be a different color than up here. So I'm actually going to take, uh, select this, go up to the color box, and we're just going to choose the second color here. I'm going to go down here and do the same and grab the same color that we just had. And then I click on here and I can easily find just the black over here. So here's another black. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's one, two, three different colors of black. So I'm making sure that they're all the same. So when it cuts out on the mat, it will cut it out as that color rather than three different colors of black, if that makes sense. So all this will cut out. The black will be on one page and then the yellow on another. Last thing I want to do actually is change the size. I'm not worried about selecting all of this and centering it because when it cuts out, it's going to cut out separately. Um, it's going to be uh, doing the choking hazard as one and then caution as another. So just be careful of that. So I'm actually going to take this and shrink the size. I'm thinking that on my boxers that I'm going to be doing is about a three by three. So I'm going to go up here to the size and I'm going to change this to be three. Normally I would always unlock this and then do three by three, but now I'm just going to leave it locked and let it see how it's going to give it to me. So it's going to do a 3 by 4.369. Um, I really don't want to go over the 3 mark very much. So I actually am going to unlock it here and use the four arrows and make it just a little bit smaller. Um, just kind of gauging up here what it looks like. Again, I really don't want to go too far, far over the 3 by 3. But I also don't want it to look skewed. So I like how this one looks. So I'm going to put it up here and leave that. This one, I did the same exact way. If you guys don't know how to use this curve um, button, I absolutely love it. So I just put out here, I kissed it. So I'm going to just do the text really quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And again, it's the same font that we just used. I'm not going to be using this, so I'm not going to change the font. I just want to show you how to use the curve. So I have it selected here. You just go up to the curve box and you curve it as much as you want, as little as you want, upside down, downside, you know, however you want it, just like that. And then you do the same thing for this one, so it's mine, and then you just do it the opposite way. So I hope that helps, that's the only, that's how I did it. And then the lips, same thing, went into the images up here, typed in lips, and I got those. So that is how I made those. Um, wow, you know what guys, I really like this one a lot better than the one I previously made. So I'm going to get rid of this one and keep this one. I think that's funny. And I already resized this one. Um, this one is actually going to go in the center part of the boxers. And I think the other ones are going to go into like the left or right hand side. So I'm going to make these a little bit bigger, maybe a four by four, maybe a little bit bigger than that. So again, I'm not going to unlock it yet, but I'm going to change this to be a four because Cricut will automatically resize it for you. So if I did a four by four, it would be really skewed looking and I don't want it to be. So I'm going to leave this one the way it is. And then these ones are the ones that I purchased from Etsy. They are all grouped together for me. So I can't really do much with it except for change this, um, the size and change the color. So I'm going to go up to the color box up here. And I'm going to take maybe just a gray color and see how that looks. So this one is the 3.553 by 3.91. It's perfect. It's in between the size that I want to for a 4x4. Four four. Um, so I'm just going to keep going to the next ones. Again, I'm going to go up here just changes to before see how it kind of goes um i like that one I, I might actually do this one on a red color uh htv i thought that would be kind of neat looking and then here we 
Oh my gosh, guys, I'm trying to keep it together. Here we have this one. This one might go in the middle as well, so I want to make sure it does not go over the 3x3. Three three. I'll make it a little bit larger. Now I am going to actually unlock it here, and we're going to see what it looks like when I change this to be 3. Oh, it's not too bad. So there we go. So here it is. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to shrink my screen a little bit. Sorry about this down here. I have two screens, and it seems to pop over sometimes. So I'm going to bring these guys over here. So this was the one I originally bought. I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't like that one as much. Make my screen a little bit bigger so we can kind of see what this looks like. Get rid of that at the bottom. There we go. Sorry, I got two screens, and sometimes it likes to come up there. Oh boy, um, this one too. So I'm going to sneak this just a little bit smaller. Again, it doesn't have to be a 3x3 or a 4x4 like mine are. It's just what I want it to be. And I'm going to choose between, you know, white, gray, and then also black. I have black, blue, and gray underwear that I'm going to be putting this on. I'm sorry, guys, boxers. I'm going to be putting these on the white, gray, and uh, black boxers. So I'm going to choose my colors wisely, so to speak. So I'm going to move this up here. I don't know. I just thought this was funny. If you can read this, proceed with caution. So maybe you could do it like I'm... This could be on the top part, and this could be like right on the leg part. I don't know. I just thought it was funny when I saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was that could be perfect. And I do kind of like it in the orange. I'm going to have to see if I have orange in HTV um, because for this project, you will want to use HTV heat transfer vinyl for this. So I shrunk my screen a little bit just to see what we have here. I think everything looks wonderful. Um, I'm actually going to ungroup this one just so I can see. Whoops. I push my button too much. I'm going to see um, just how big this is. So it's in my range here. You can see up here 2.717. Um, I'm actually going to make these both just a little larger. Just like that. So I selected it and just did the double arrows. Now I can go back here and see if it's going over the 3x3 three three or 4x4. Four four. So I think that is perfect. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just because it goes in the middle part. And then this will go on the like part. So are you guys following me? Do you like this video? Hit that subscribe button if you do and give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Do you guys have any other ones that we could add to this? Do you think it's funny? Would you give this to your husband? I'm actually going to be selling these at the two craft stores that I'm in. Um, I asked permission and they thought it was hilarious. So we will see how these go. Um, I did see a ton on Etsy and a ton on Amazon that are selling like crazy. People are selling for like $16 to $20 a piece. Um, I think I might go maybe $10 for these considering that the underwear, I think I got, let's see, six pair for, I think it was $16. So a little bit more pricey, but maybe I'll do 10 or 12 dollars per one um, but I love how this is so I'm actually going to let's see make a duplicate of this one because I'm gonna do a gray one and then also a black one so I duplicated it now I'm just gonna go up to the color box and these ones up top are the ones that you're using already so I'm gonna keep the same gray as before all right so I like how everything looks I like it the size I like the color everything like I said I might uh, order some red HTV on Amazon to do this one, but I'm gonna go up here and click make it and show you guys what it looks like um, Mind you there's gonna be a few mats that you're gonna have to do different colors with if you do choose to do different colors So I'm gonna show you what they look like So here are the mats. Here's the yellow or I'm sorry the gray one. Here's the black the orange the yellow I Guess I got purple on there somewhere guys. Um, I wasn't considering purple so I'm gonna move those and I'll show you how to move them and then the pink for the lips so I wanted this to be black I'm not really sure what happened so before you go to continue you can change these and put them on different mats you just want to click on the double or the three dots here move object and then select wherever you want to put it so I'm gonna put it with the black I'm gonna push confirm and it's gonna put it up there so I want to move it so it's not cutting on top of the other one go back to this one click the three dots, move object, put it on the black one. Again, I, I didn't recall it was purple, but I guess it was. So now this purple one is empty. It's not going to cut anything. Last thing you want to do is I like to just move it just a little bit so I can get my scissors in there and cut in between. Because we're using HTV heat transfer vinyl, you want to mirror your image. So I'm going to click on mirror for every one of these. And then going to the base materials here, these are my favorites. These are ones that I use all the time. So remember, we are using HTV heat transfer vinyl. Again, I was just saying I don't buy a lot of Cricut stuff, so I'm using this one, Iron On Heat Transfer Non-Cricut. It would work, too, if you do have Cricut uh, brand vinyl, but I don't. Um, so you got to make sure that it's it's 
set to your base material up here. It tells you to mirror your image. Um, I always leave the pressure to default. You want to make sure you have a sharp, fine point blade in there. Um, if you don't, you want to make sure that you uh, replace that before you do this. Um, you want to put your uh, material shiny side down on your mat and then um, go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to have all these cut out. I'm going to cut it out. I'll weed it out. I'll save you the time of not having to watch me do that and then I will show you uh, the next step and using my heat press. Alright guys so I'm finished weeding my files out. I wanted to show you really quick how they're going to turn out so I did do this one previously. Um, I did this on the side of the leg and then I did another one on let's call it the center <laughs> of the underwear. So I'll show you really quick what that looks like. So it's just like that. I'm not going to say what it says. You guys can read it but that is how they turn out. So I'm just going to take my pair of underwear and depending on where your file has to go, um, this particular one, again, I'm not saying what it says, uh, I want to go in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is just line this up and um, take any of the wrinkles out that I can and make sure it's really flat because you don't want to have, you don't want to press this on um, a wrinkle because it won't stay on properly. So I don't care about the top up here. I just want the part right here to be nice and flat. So what I do before I start is I give it a little press, just holding it down for a couple seconds, get it warm, get some of the wrinkles out, and then I go ahead and put my file on it. So just like that, you can see there's no more um, wrinkles in the center part where I'm going to be working with it. So I'm just going to lay it on here, and then you just put it wherever you want it to go. I'm trying to line it up right in the center part. And then take a piece of parchment paper or your Teflon paper that should come with your heat press and gently put it over without disturbing the SVG file itself. I have my heat press set at 380 degrees for 20 seconds and just enough pressure to be able to push it down. Um, really quick, I know I talk about my heat press a lot. I absolutely love this heat press. I will leave the link below in case you're interested. I am interested in purchasing a uh, new one this summer, possibly that moves you know, back and forth. But I've tried all the other presses, uh, the easy press. I hated it. I had to take it back. It was just too much work. So you can hear this, it's done. You just lift it up. Yeah, with the easy press, I couldn't handle it. You, just, you have to do all the work yourself anyway, so why not invest and heat press. So here, this is finished here. Be very careful because it is hot. Um, make sure that your um, HTV, or read your HTV rather, and make sure it is a uh, cool peel or if you peel it right away. Meaning that if it is a cool peel, you need to let it cool down before you peel it off. Otherwise, you're able just to peel it right away. So here, this one is finished. I don't really want to pick it up yet because I want to let it um, cool down a little bit. So I'm going to put this on the side. And then I'll show you one more, and I'm going to do this one on the side of the leg instead. So it's the same process. So I have my file here. Again, I'm not going to read it. You guys can see it. But I'm going to put this one on the side of the leg. So I'm just going to find the inseams on the leg here. Push this up so you can see it a little bit more. So I'm just finding the inseams here, the side here. And then I'll go on the side here and find the seam because I want it to be perfectly in the center. And again, I just want to make sure that it's flat and I don't have any wrinkles where I'm going to be putting it. So you want to feel it and feel underneath. If you have any wrinkles underneath there, try to pull them out with your hand. So just like that, I don't care about the top part. All I care about um, right now is this part. So I'm going to get some of these wrinkles out that are in here. Do the same process. I'm just going to hold it here with a little bit of pressure for a couple seconds, get it warm, get some of those wrinkles out, and then I will put my file on. So there. So doesn't that look much better? There's not as many wrinkles. There's still a little bit of wrinkles in there, but it's a lot better. So I'm going to take my file, and I'm going to put it kind of in the middle here. And you know what, guys? Um, I think this particular file should go in the center, but because I'm doing the leg, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So same thing. You just want to kind of watch your margins down at the bottom, march, watch your margins on the side, and kind of figure out where you want to put it. I'm going to put this one a little bit crooked on here, just so it looks a little bit better. So the same thing, put your Teflon paper on or your parchment tape paper, whatever you might have. If you have any questions about a heat press or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, I love this heat press. Um, so here it is finished. All you got to do is lift it up. Pull your parchment paper or your Teflon paper away. And then again, be sure that you read to see if it is a cool peel 
or if you just peel it right away. I just like to go nice and slow because if you do pick up any of that file, you can just put your Teflon tape back over it, or sorry, Teflon paper back over it and do another press. But this one turned out perfectly. So here this one is, I'm gonna be careful because it is hot too. So here is the side view as well. So if you guys like this video tutorial, please let me know, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna show you this other one really quick. So here's another one on the side. And let's see, I think I have another one in the middle here. I thought these were kind of funny to create for Valentine's Day. I think they're going to be a big hit at the stores that I'm in. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And stay tuned because I'm actually going to be doing some more of these. I have actually over here, you can't really see it, a sublimination printer. And I'm going to be doing this process with my sublimination printer. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Happy crafting and happy Valentine's Day.